Today I'm going to be finishing up the landing gear and what I'm going to be doing is uh, countersinking the holes on the mounting plate with uh, this half inch countersink. And I'm going to be using flathead screws so that I can have them lay flush with this surface when it's mounted because if it's up to higher such as this let me just show you here if you can see it's it's going to be up raised up like that and that's not going to be also for two reasons you want to have that um, on a flush with this plane one you're not getting the true strength of the screw if it's not uh, touching the complete surface area of the head and two I want it flush because if I don't uh, when you put it in the wing it would be raised above the landing gear rails. We really want to just take the time to use a countersink and make the necessary holes sunk so that the flathead will sit in top of the mounting pl plate uh, nice and flat. As you can see I put the landing gear in a small vise and what I'm going to be doing, and normally I would use my drill press, but uh, to demonstrate this, I'm going to use the countersink on my lowest setting, lowest speed in my uh, portable drill. And uh, this is just so if you only have a portable drill, you can see how easy this is to do. Uh, the reason I would recommend using a drill press is because then you can set the depth for the countersink on the drill press so that you have a consistent. Uh, Hole, but instead what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to keep my screw nice and handy. I'm going to drill each one of these to countersink the holes and then I'm going to test the depth with the screw. So it's going to be a drill, test, drill, test kind of thing until we get each one set. It might take a little longer but if you don't have a drill press at least you can see that you can do it with a drill, uh, portable drill. Now you don't want to put too much pressure down, but countersinks don't like to go fast. So just keep the speed low and get even pressure down. Make sure you're as level as possible and go for it. You can see it's already started. This being aluminum makes it a lot easier to countersink. Now I can tell already that it's not deep enough just because I've done enough countersinking, but uh, you would want to test right now just to make sure. Alright, let's just look at that. See? Let me take this out. Okay. So there's the screw. There it is. Almost there. I'll drill a little bit more and uh, see what it looks like. Remember to keep that even pressure and make sure you're level. Just drill and test, drill and test. Okay. We're almost there. Now this is can be a fun job if you have it set up right. Otherwise it could be a little frustrating if you don't have the right tools. So if you don't have the right tools, borrow them from somebody or you know take them to a shop, whatever you need to do to get it done so that it's right. As I said, I would normally just set the depth and drill each one and, and be done already, but again, I'm show, showing you so you can see how to do this for yourself if you don't have a drill press. Again, it's getting close, but it needs, needs a little bit more. Okay. 
pretty good. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. That's pretty good. I might take a little more off, but you get the idea. And I won't make you watch this any longer just to see it drill in, but just keep drilling and testing until this flathead screw is flush with this surface. And remember, you're not working with a very, really, really thick uh, mounting plate, so don't go too deep or you're not going to have enough material left over to bite into and, and secure the uh, screw to. So uh, get it so it's just flush it, and if it's a little high, it's a little high, but don't compromise the strength of the mounting plate by drilling too deep.